Hi and welcome to Vintage Doll Collector. I wanted to share with you a couple of dolls that I got out to display for New Year's. This is a Jean doll designed by Mel Odom and made by Ashton Drake in 1995. This is the Monaco Jean. She was originally sold wearing a wedding gown. The outfit she's wearing is Holiday Magic from 1996 designed by Tim Kennedy. If you're not familiar with Jean, her story is that she's a movie star from Hollywood's glamorous era of the 1940s and 50s. All of her outfits have stories that go along with them. The story behind Holiday Magic is that Jean wore it when she appeared on a holiday TV special in 1956. The outfit also came with this gift box wrapped in silver and blue to match her dress. Mine got a little squashed in storage. Ashton Drake also produced a white Christmas tree for Jean that could be purchased separately. But to me, this outfit has always made me think not of Christmas, but of New Year's Eve. A New Year's Eve gala would be the kind of glamorous occasion that you would wear a wonderful party dress like this. So I took the Christmas gift away and gave her a bottle of champagne to hold instead. It's a little too small, really Barbie size, but it works. The dress has a bodice of royal blue satin and a tulle skirt accented with matching bows. Underneath the tulle, there's a layer of thin silver lame, and she wears a heavy net crinoline under that. She has shoes to match, which tie in the back, long white gloves, and a rhinestone bracelet. Here's a better look at the champagne bottle. Jean is 15 inches tall and made of rigid vinyl with rooted hair. She has a very unusual face with light blue eyes and gray eyeshadow. In designing her, Mel Odom was inspired by real-life movie stars, including Jean Tierney, Grace Kelly, and Ann Southern, but she's not meant to represent any one real person. I was really into Jean dolls when they first came out, and I bought this doll and outfit when they were brand new. My second New Year's doll was the souvenir from the UFDC National Convention in 2000. Fin du millénaire is French for end of the millennium. The doll is Father Time. He's about 14 inches tall, made of porcelain and cloth, and carries his scythe. He was designed by artist Susan Dunham. He has a wonderful character face. He also has a secret. His face is a mask, and when you take it off, there's a handsome young man underneath. Here's a better look at the mask. I don't think it's made of porcelain, not sure what material it is. The young man's name is Marcus, and in Father Time's white robe, he looks like a senator from ancient Rome. Here's Marcus without the robe. I love his face and hair. His body construction is unusual. If I dressed him in the right outfit, he could be Jean's date for the New Year's Eve party. She's a bit bigger than he is, but he's in his bare feet, and she's wearing the equivalent of four-inch heels, so there you go. Here's the marking on his back. It reads, Copyright Susan Dunham, UFDC National, Year 2000. I won him in the raffle at my doll club's Christmas party and was very happy to get him. I want to thank you all for making my first year on YouTube so great. I really appreciate all your views and shares and comments. One of my resolutions for 2019 is to set up a permanent area in my house for shooting the videos so I can get rid of this horrible wrinkly backdrop and start making them look a little more professional. Hope you all have a happy and safe New Year's. See you next time.